Hello everyone, welcome to Brain Attic. Today we have another set of problems with us to solve. The problems, though seem intimidating, are relatively simple. If you do want to give it a try, pause the video and give it a try. If you want to continue, let's go ahead with the solution. So, in first question we have, if f of, f of x is equal to cos of log x, then we have to find function of 1 by x into function of 1 by y minus half into whole of f function of x by y plus function of x y. And in the second question, uh, we are asked what is the remainder if n to 19 to the power 93 minus 13 to the power 99 is divided by 162. So let us begin solving the first question. So as you can see, we have f of x given to us as cos of log x. Now, if we apply the value of f of x to the given function, which is this, we get something like this, cos of log 1 by x into cos of log 1 by y minus half whole cos of log x by y plus cos of log x y now uh, from the formula of cos a plus b, cos a plus cos b we can write two of cos log x by y plus log of x y divided by two. product cos of log x by y minus log of x y divided by 2. Now using the uh, concept of logarithms we know that this we can write as log 1 minus log x. Similarly if we do it everywhere log of 1 we know is equal to 0 so what we are left with is minus of log y minus and this 2 and this 2 gets cancelled so we will not worry about it much so cos of log x minus log y plus log x plus log y whole divided by 2 and the second term of the product this this is the second term in the product which is cos log x minus log y minus log x plus minus log y whole divided by 2 this is it now as you can see right we can cos of minus theta is equal to cos theta so we can directly write this as cos log x cos log y here you see these terms are getting cancelled log y is getting cancelled and here log x is getting cancelled so what we are left with is cos of 2 log x by 2 into cos of 2 log y by 2 with a negative sign. Again this 2 and this 2 cancel, this 2 and this 2 gets cancelled. What we are left with is cos of log x cos of log y minus cos of log x. And again, cos of minus theta is equal to cos theta, so we are left with cos of log y. So our final solution is 0. This is our answer. Now going to the next problem, which is uh, when 19 power 93 minus 13 power 99 is divided by 162, the remainder is. So this is a little tricky as you can see. So we'll have a different approach in solving this problem. So 19 power 93 can be written as 18 plus 1 power 93 
Now from binomials we know that this is 1 plus 93 C1 into 18 plus multiples of 18 square. Again this is nothing but 93 into 18 plus multiples of 18 square. Now this 93 we can write it as 90 plus 3 into 18 plus multiples of 18 square. You will find the reason of uh, taking this approach very soon. So we are left with 1 plus 54 plus multiples of 18 square. So 19 into 18 will definitely have a 18 square inside it. So what we are left with is 55 plus multiples of 18 square. Now we take up 13 power 99. A similar kind of approach but the same will have 9 plus 4 power 99. Now as you can see this is 4 power 99 plus 99 C1 into 9 into 4 power 98 and dot 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 so as continuing this is 4 power 99 plus 99 into 9 into 4 power 98 plus dot 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 so this is nothing but 4 power 99 plus multiples of 9 square or we can write this as 2 power 98 plus multiples of 9 square. We can again rearrange it and write it as 8 power 66 plus multiples of 9 square. Now 8 we can write as 9 minus 1 power 66 plus multiples of 9 square. As you can see, this will be minus 66 into 9 plus 1 and we'll have multiples of 9 square. Minus 66 you can write as 72 minus 6 into 9 plus 1 plus multiples of... By the way, uh, here right, here to here we have done the binomial expansion again multiples of 9 square finally we have finally we are left with 55 plus multiple of 9 square so here you see right now when you are when we are dealing with uh, 162 162 has factor 81 2 and so on so definitely this excess factor which we are having in each case right so for uh, 19 power 93 we had 55 plus multiples of 18 square or this you can also write as 55 plus multiples of 9 square again in 13 power 99 we have 55 plus multiples of 9 square so when you subtract 90 by power 93 minus 13 power 99 you're and you divide it by divide by 162 then essentially your remainder is 0 if you do like the video hit sub uh, hit like button subscribe to our channel for more content like this if you have any feedback please share thank you so much